Brinjata, after using this man's intellectual property to trend on social media and make a lot of dollars, all you want to give him is 2 million naira. Hey everyone, I need you to really focus on the video I'm about to show you. <laughs> This is the face of a man who, in a rather light-hearted moment without serious intent, has done something quite remarkable. Some might say it demonstrates how easily something can go viral. But there's an issue, hang on. Nigerians are furious with this guy. Now grab a pen and paper and start taking notes on the brain jotter case. For content creators, the worst scenario is running out of new ideas. This is exactly what happened to Brain Jotter in July. Desperate, he made a short dance video with an old song, not anticipating it would spread like wildfire. In Nigeria, there are two foolproof ways to go viral, shake bombum and keep shaking bombum. That's precisely what Brain Jotter and his team did. This dance has had two significant outcomes. It has revived Sir Mike Ajiga's fame and elevated Brain Jotter's popularity. But there's still an issue. After this video started trending, a man who was thought to be part of Brain Jotter's team visited Mike Ajiga. However, he has now come forward to deny being associated with Brain Jotter's team. All these team. articles are one of bloggers. They should leave me alone, no? <laughs> Which one be say I follow Brain Jotter team? Brain Jotter, give me money, make I go give Mike a I beg, bro. I don't even, I don't post that video since um, March. I go visit Mike Eja for March this year, and that um, song they trend now. I reposted the video. They say I follow for Brain Jota team. Say Brain Jota give me money, I give Mike Eja. I beg, bro. Brain Jota won't go see Mike Eja. I mean, go see him. I know the team. I know me and Brain Jota never talked before. So I beg, bro. <laughs> Bloggers, you got to tell me. Think we don't need to overflow this issue. Brain Jota don't see the profits from this particular soundtrack. Maybe not be about money, but at least the thing don't extend. It don't go viral. Where we say people don't get to know more of the brand. And this information where they go around, they say, Naeem, I was expecting Brain Jota within 24 hours to debunk this particular video, especially when you know, say, no be team. Now go do this thing to give this man money because that's the idea people are taking out. And since nobody sent this guy, nobody team, this guy not the representative. When you get information like this, you quickly come outside to debunk it. And you also can do your own part. You don't use the man's song, you don't train. Nothing stops you for at least going there to pay homage to the man because it was a beautiful sound. Honestly, I was expecting Brain Jotter to address this within 24 hours especially since he knew the man wasn't part of his team. Some Nigerians believe it was Mike's song that helped Brain Jotter gain so many views and feel Brain Jotter should do the right thing. Others argue that Brain Jotter revived Mike's career after 40 years. Many also hope that Mike has a good lawyer because using someone's content to rake in millions and offering just N2 million in return isn't fair. The main question is, can Brain Jotter be sued for using Mike Ajiga's song? Absolutely, he can. All Brain Jota needs to do is just to go and, you know, meet the man or just acknowledge him, you get? Because that all the power is in the man's hands now. This is a straightforward case of copyright infringement. I know you might not want to hear this, but it's true. This particular video has the highest views on Brain Jotter's page. The important question is, did he profit from this video? Only TikTok users with international accounts make money from their videos. There's another factor to consider. Back in the day, songs weren't always registered. So if Mike's song isn't registered, he might not have a case. But if it is, then there's a problem. For those curious about TikTok payouts, let me break it down mathematically. The video got approximately 28 million views. Here's how it works. In the TikTok creator fund, hypothetically speaking, 1,000 views equals $1 if you're in the U.S. In Nigeria, 1,000 views might get you 20 cents if you're lucky. And this doesn't even consider qualified views, which are different from regular views. So if we do the math, 28 million views divided by 1,000 equals 28,000, and 28,000 multiplied by 20 cents equals $5,600. I can assure you Brain Jotter didn't earn that much because not all views are qualified, especially in Nigeria. Let's assume only half of the views were qualified. 
bringing it down to $2,800. There are rumors that Brainjotter gave Mike Ajiga N2 million. If that's true, it means Brainjotter might have split his earnings in half to share it. Those that think we ripped him or we're making money off this whole thing, I understand your concerns and it is very valid. Like, I appreciate the fact that you want him to get value for his hard work, which is very valid. And I want you to understand that you are doing something good, but at the end of the day, no dime was made off this song for myself nothing like that so you the truth is um i understand because you don't understand how it works all those music where i did put out there instagram facebook youtube everything the whole revenue are going to michael jagger's record label his production company you cannot even monetize another person's song because these platforms have copyrights violation um they they have tools to strike you for copyright so if i post that video on youtube youtube strikes it for copyright and they give the revenue to the actual owner which is mikey jagger if you post it on facebook facebook will tell you to your face that this song does not belong to you it belongs to this person they take the revenue and they give it to the actual owner and another positive thing is that the song increased the streamings on the streaming platform massively and there's no how i can put the song on streaming platform so everything all revenues are going straight to mikey jagger and the two million that i gave him was from my pocket my hard-earned money it's just it's just for humanity and it's not for profit this whole thing is not for profit not just because nothing did his life and it's the little we can do you know and we got the reward which is the joy in his heart now the joy in his heart now be my profit so thank you so much for your concern and um, and it's good to it's good to fight for what you think is right so that's fine thank you for your great work you know yes god bless you so basically it was not really planned i think it was just the will of god yeah, because the last I heard of the song was when my father plays it, you know, as a kid, for traveling to the east, you know. In my head, then I got a vex, I say, that the pool, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but as God may have it, you know, I was just scrolling through TikTok and then I just passed through the song. So I've scrolled like four times and then I came back and I'm like, the song just made sense to me. And the video I even used to do it is, was a video I've already done since, you know. So I think it's just it's just the will of God, not my will. Do you understand exactly? Exactly. Uh -huh. You know. So. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, and as God may have it, um, myself, you know, and members of my team, you know, to just give the family like two million naira, like I said. You know, so anyhow, you could use to take care of him, you know, and then still cater for the family as for, for some time. So, yeah, thank you very much for the privilege. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much, yeah. thank you. yeah, so um, I would um, make a I'll make a transfer to and yeah, anybody that's, yeah. All right. So, I don't know if we mind, I could just come close to take a picture.
For those of you who doesn't know much about Brain Jotter, please watch to the end. Hope you're all enjoying witnessing the incredible growth of Brain Jotter. It's truly inspiring to see how he's evolving and changing the game with each new content. From the hilarious comedy skits to the engaging content, Brain Jotter is taking likes to a whole new level. I know you are here to know how rich is Brain Jotter, but do me a favor by liking and subscribing to this channel for more engaging contents. 70 years old man. Chukwebuka Emmanuel, whose stage name is Brain Jotter, is a skilled actor, comedian, screenwriter, and content producer online. He started out as an online comedian before gracing various comedy stages around the country. Brain Jotter was born on the 5th of February 1995 in Oweri, Imo State, Nigeria. He was born into the Amuzi family of Imo State. He, however, relocated to Ghana to get a better life. He had his primary and secondary education in Imo State before moving to study business administration at the University of Lagos. He also studied at Ghana National University. Brain Jotter began his amusing career as an online comic who performed at a number of comedy shows across the nation. Later, Brain Jotter moved his comics career to Instagram. His two humorous videos, No Stress and I Don't Care, were well liked on Instagram. This is the primary source of income for Brain Jotter. Whenever he creates a new comedy sketch, he receives substantial payment on YouTube. As we know, YouTube compensates users for the content they contribute, and additional revenue comes from ads placed within hosted videos, with users earning money for each click on these ads. The earnings per 1,000 views vary based on a channel's niche, and for Brain Jotter's entertainment-focused channel, it likely ranges between two to four dollars per thousand views. Taking a closer look, Brain Jotter's channel currently boasts an impressive 171,105,504 views. Now, imagine how much Brain Jotter has made so far.